for the next one we're gonna have uh, uh, you know if you remember we have uh, some uh, you know feature or value props for that we have a tagline then we have a heading and then we have some icon and uh, then text and then description so that's what we're going to do here so first of all we are going to add uh, a tagline uh, maybe we can call it category for now let's make it to 150 percent and uh, just a tagline and uh, let's make it uh, maybe 20 looks good to me by the way and uh, then we can have a v of uh, best services and uh, let's make this font for the headings we're going to use this font and uh, let's see where it looks good we're going to remove this case from here and uh, i think this uh, looks uh, pretty nice to me uh, 50 works good for h2 headings uh, maybe we can remove this one so it will look pretty nice now and uh, we will make it centered and then we're gonna group, uh, you know center line this one group it and uh, center it and uh, we call this group heading and uh, let's uh, make it a little bit closer remember we have the colors for the headings and uh, let's make it this one okay so now we have to add uh, some uh, uh, you know this part icon then we have a heading and then we have some text so that's where, what we are going to do here uh, first of all we are going to draw an icon i have uh, you know uh, some of icons here already oh by the way this uh, arrow looks really uh, this uh, arrow plane looks really nice to me over here so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to add a couple of aeroplanes here just not here not a good place okay there you go okay so this adds a little bit more uh, details to the design and uh, it looks uh, much nicer here so i have a few icons over here that i'm going to use for this one again these are collected from free picks so we, you can always go there and find the travel icons so i just got these icons over here i'm going to work on the first section which is uh, something like this and then we have uh, the heading so we may call it calculated weather and uh, make it a uh, 24 pixel and uh, remove this case from here or looks good to me and for the description text again i will just uh, go on airshaki.com and uh, copy this text and paste it over here and make it a uh, medium and maybe 16 works nice for me the same thing for the colors i'm going to apply these colors on this one and then center align them all there you go so we have this one now this one let's add a little bit more details because we have a uh, four of these sections uh, as you can see over here so we have to make sure like uh, the this container that we are creating in the, this grid item uh, it it is a properly uh, it, it uh, is um, you know f fitting in properly within the our frame so what i'm going to do here i'm going to enable our grid so as you can see we have 12 columns over here and we have to make sure that uh, this one uh, fits within three columns so it should be fitting within this area as you can see it's a little bit more so we're going to move it here and then you know make the text smaller so that it fits nicely over here so now it works pretty good uh, one thing uh, so far it, uh, it it looks good to me but uh, let's hide this one and remove this one from here this one looks good so far but uh, let's add a little bit more details uh, to this one 
maybe we can add uh, a shape kind of and then uh, maybe I'm thinking about uh, adding some border radius over here uh, over here and uh, maybe over here let's see how it goes so it's always uh, uh, you know uh, clockwise so what we're going to here is no not here this one maybe not this one let's try this one yep this one looks nice so let's move this behind the image uh, behind this one all right so maybe a little bit smaller something like that and then we add the same color let's make it as a light tone and then we apply the same over here light tone so there you go now it looks a little bit uh, more detailed as compared to uh, you know flat as we had it earlier i'm going to enable the uh, this section again and then we are going to uh, make it like this one should be called uh, command g and icon and uh, let's select all of this command g and value prop i'm just going to duplicate this one just make it centered just going to duplicate it like this for three more times and now we add some more text over here maybe best flights and then we have uh, local events and then we have customization i'm going to replace the icons over here so i'm going to cut and uh, this icon should be replaced by this one looks nice and then we are going to remove this one this dish over here with this icon oh come on there you go so and then we can remove this dish with uh, this coconut icon remove move up here so there you go so what we can now do add a little bit of randomization kind of and for that i'm just going to hit this one this is not needed anymore so maybe for this one we can move it over here and uh, flip it horizontally and vertically this one looks nice to me maybe this one can be yeah this look uh, maybe we can move it something like that so it's just a little bit of randomization so it looks uh, it doesn't look like uh, everything is uh, following the same structure uh, making it a little bit randomized makes it look even better so what i got here maybe we can add uh, some radius over here as well so there you go so this part is ready now we just need to replace the text with some other text so that uh, the design doesn't look uh, you know repetitive always try to use a uh, unique text instead of uh, just uh, duplicating it because uh, uh, it will not add a lot of details to your design if you use same text again and again so here and then we have some more text over here and there you go maybe we can make it a little bit smaller something like that there you go so we have the value prop section we're gonna make it a group but before that we have to add uh, an active state to one of the card so that uh, uh, we could show like uh, when user hover on something on that uh, it creates uh, a little bit of an effect so for that we are going to add a little bit of uh, rectangle over here and uh, make it behind this one so move it to the end of the value props 
there you go and then we are going to give it white background but uh, let's add some if shadow on that and uh, for shadow we are going to add a little bit bigger shadow uh, we can use the same technique that we have been using earlier uh, like uh, we can use a shadow maker plugin for that or we can create our own shadow as well so for shadow maker we need to use very very, very light shadow so i'm going to reduce the opacity to something like that and uh, i'm also going to add some border radius because we have the border radius on everything and then it's pretty good now uh, but uh, let's add a little bit of more details so it, it looks even better so what i'm going to do here uh, let's move it uh, behind this rectangle and uh, add the accent color here and uh, shift H shift V maybe shift H shift V and shift H and uh, make it a little bit bigger over here so now it has a little bit of more details as compared to just flat uh, a text test uh, you know sitting right there so it has a little bit more details this text looks a little bit bigger to me so i think we should make it 14 pixel yeah that looks nice and now we have something not looking good here and uh, we have everything in three lines maybe add some more text to this one and same we're gonna do for so we have like a symmetry of having everything in four lines there you go this one looks a little bit awkward to me so i'm going to add some more text over here let's see how it looks yep much better so we have now our section ready so what i'm going to do select all of these three and make it active value grab and uh, then we are going to make a group of all these value props and call it value props there you go so now what we got here is a hero section and then we have value prop section so we're gonna make a group here and call it section value props now we have two sections uh, we can call it uh, section hero and uh, then we have section value props